Did you ever get so frustrated with a frontline worker at an establishment that you went full Karen and asked, who's your boss? Come on, admit it. You know you've done it, or at least you've been sorely tempted to. Well, today we're going to dive into a version of that question, who's the boss? Hi, I'm Greg McRae, founder and CEO of Foundation Group, and welcome back once again to our 501c3 University channel, where we strive to make nonprofit issues understandable. Now, we've been doing a series lately featuring questions from viewers of our videos and readers of our website articles. And as a side note, I would tell you to go check out our website if you haven't already. It's easy to remember, 501c3.org. We have hundreds of articles and resources that will help you on your nonprofit journey. And if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, do that as well. It's free. You'll be glad you did. So today's question is another one concerning a nonprofit board. And it seems like that's a very recurring theme among those who reach out to us. But today's question takes a different angle than we've addressed lately. Lavetta writes, I am a board member of a small nonprofit organization. We have a board president and a vice president and an executive director. Who should report to whom? When building the organizational chart, are the executive director and president at the top or one above the other? Great question, Lavetta, and I think it goes to the heart of what we in the nonprofit advisory community have to always keep top of mind. The things we know and take for granted isn't well understood by those on the front lines of serving. And most nonprofits are very small and volunteer driven. Many involved have never done this before, so understanding these things aren't a given. So to Lavetta's question, who's the boss? All right, there's several things I want to talk about with regard to Lavetta's question, and this revolves around a number of things and how it works in a nonprofit board. So let's talk about typical board structure first. Typically, a nonprofit board is going to be made up of directors and officers. So directors, they're more generalists, and officers may have specific titles like president, secretary, vice president, treasurer, chairman. A lot of times chairman and president are interchangeable terms for the leader of the board at that time. So a key thing to remember is with officers and directors, any officer is the first among equals if they're the president, for example. So even though they may be technically in charge of leading board meetings, they are one vote out of a number of votes on that board of directors. They don't necessarily have more authority. They may have more responsibility, but not authority. So they are the first among equals. Generally speaking, your executive director, Lavetta, that's a hired position in most circumstances. And typically the executive director, they may also be a board member, but that's a separate role. If they're not a board member, then they are accountable to report to the board at large. They're not accountable just to one person. So I hope that helps. Um, this is a democracy situation in a board of directors, so one person does not control the outcomes. Another thing I need to bring up is your bylaws. Your bylaws are, and we talk about this in any number of videos that we've produced. We'll link below to some information that we have produced on our website and also on our video channel here with regard to bylaws. Bylaws are going to spell out the rules and the regulations and the procedures that your board of directors and your officers are going to follow, including the definitions of their roles and what their responsibilities are. So your bylaws are a key component of this as well. I hope this helps you, Lavetta, and anyone else struggling with how to govern a nonprofit. We appreciate you reaching out to us. Now go serve your community. Hey, do me a favor and don't navigate away just yet. We would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button below as it really helps get our content recommended to more people. Subscribe if you haven't already as we have great content coming your way on a regular basis. Finally, you can click the little bell icon to be notified of new content when we post it. To learn more about Foundation Group, you can visit us on the web at www.501c3.org. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.